All right, how you guys doing, YouTube? I uh, thought I'd give a quick update video on the progress after the Tiger Barb incident. Um, I just want to say thank you, first of all, for all the people that's came and commented and honestly gave me true advice, you know, and the experiences that they learned through their own trials and errors. So I really appreciate that, guys. Um, yeah, I knew better. <laughs> End of the day, I knew better. Yeah, I know Oscars are an aggressive, dominant fish that pretty much eat anything they can get their hands on. I honestly thought I can outsmart them by using semi-fast, aggressive fish in my tank, but I was obviously wrong. <laughs> Literally dead wrong. Um, but it's a mistake I won't let happen again. Um, I still have a couple of rosy bars swimming around in there only because I was too tired to get them right now, guys. It's a lot of work. Um, I got these two little rug rats sitting on me. This right here, this guy right here, this is Creed. That's my boy. <laughs> He's a shorky, Shih Tzu and Yorkie. And then my little girl next to me, this little beauty, this is Cora. She's a... <laughs> Stop, boy. <laughs> She's a Yorkie Poo. She's Yorkie and Poodle. But um, combined, they weigh a total of, what, 10 pounds? They're about 5 pounds each. Um, they're little guys. But they're my, they're my pups, and I love them. So anyway, back to this update. Okay, get off me. Get off me, pups. Get off me. So, as of now, my tank is tore apart. It looks all desolate and empty, dirty, kicking up all that debris from the rocks. Uh, boy, Angel Funk, he told me, you know, he was telling me them dang rocks get you in trouble sometimes. Sometimes it's best to go bare about them. So what I think I'm going to do, guys, is uh, take this substrate right here, and then I'm going to just spread it thin across the entire tank. Um, I don't know how that's going to work out for me. I've always been a big fan of rocks, even though through all of the smells and the cleaning and vacuuming, yeah, it's a lot of work, but I don't mind doing it for the aesthetically pleasing purposes, but i got to spread it thinner. So we'll see how that works out. Well, I'm going to keep this video short. Because I got a lot to do. Um, but on another hand, though, I did get a pretty hefty return from my local pet store, Elliot's. Um, show you what they gave me. I got this beautiful, beautiful piece of Malaysian driftwood. I know the, the sunlight is killing us, but this thing is gorgeous. All right. I also got this beautiful big beautiful piece of Malaysian driftwood as well I think it's gorgeous and my favorite out of all the pieces this thing is gorgeous guys I know you can't see it but when it's in this tank over here and I got all it all set up these big beautiful wood pieces ah oh, it's gonna be nice oh, it's gonna be really nice so it's coming. Just got to figure out how to mount that LED on it. I got a little higher. Well, as always, thanks for watching. <sighs> it's going to be a tough one. <laughs> All right, you guys. As always, keep the hobby safe. Keep it honest. Do it well. Do it right. All right.